Well, hello, my YouTube fellas and gals. So today, I got some Australian mail. I'm behind, so you're going to see some videos of things I just recently got versus things that were from a long time ago. And I just haven't posted them yet. So you don't think I'm on, like, this big shopping spree. <laughs> so anyways, I was checking out a new channel and I actually really like her products. She goes by Paper Daisy Journals. And she does a really great representation of the crafts that she makes on her channel. So I had to go and purchase. Because it's been a while since I've actually purchased off of a channel that I don't know the person and I like doing that randomly to help new channels because I think it's really cool to do that. Let me figure out how to get this box open. She ready to get the tape on here. But I totally get why. So anyways, I have never actually done this before. Where I've always picked out like a journal. But she made so many that I actually liked. I couldn't pick one. So I ended up buying three of them. And I am so excited. Because they all had their own special design. Let me get her box open. I don't want to show the address. But I will give you her channel. And look how beautiful this is wrapped. This is absolutely adorable. Look how cute. She's got little flower petals. This is adorable. I love it. Her first name is Kylie, which is a really cute name because that's my youngest granddaughter's name. Let's see here. Let me pull the flowers off so I do not lose them. Look how beautiful she has this packaged. This is adorable. Some tag. And there's a little flower with a stem. Did a really, really beautiful job on this. And then she's got her little stamp sticker and then here's a ribbon pull the ribbon off because I will use this stuff later and look at this oh my so this is journal number one she has a detailed flip through on her channel, which I will link below so that you can go check it out. But she added like different types of papers. Look how pretty this is. Love it. And it's, it's more blank for a person to decorate, but I love the types of papers that she picked. It's not like heavily decorated, but it's just the papers are really beautiful. Look at that. The music. Just like we like it, ladies. Look how pretty. Look at that. Look at this feathers. I loved watching her do the flip through of these. I was just wow. And look, January. Edith Holden. Yay! My birth month. She didn't know that. But when I saw that, I was like, yes. Finally seen my January page. So it goes on. But look how beautiful she did these covers. I just, I love this. It's got bluebirds. And of course, a blue ribbon. Everybody knows how I love my blues. So this is journal number one. 
Then we have journal number two. Look at this beautiful butterfly. <laughs> so I said that it was really hard to choose because she picked such a beautiful combination. And look at the back. Look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. I just love this, how she puts little sayings on the backs. She did beautifully with these. And even though some things might look similar, there is a difference because there's like a mixed match of colors. And she even had some papers. Look at this paper. Love it. And I wanted something different, like a little bit more of a variety of color. And that's what I found in these. More you just hold in pages. Look at this paper. This paper is beautiful. I love this. In June is important to me too. Because June 21st, 2011, I quit smoking. And my health has been so much better since. So June is important to me too. Look at how pretty this paper is. Good job, good job. Love it. So this had more of like a little bluish with a little bit of a, I would say like a lilac tone, light purple. And then there was this one. And look how beautiful this one is. I loved how she incorporated some brown with some pastels. Ponder, hush, pause. This is just pretty. And then there was this one. And even though they might have some similar papers, look how beautiful this one is. Oh, this paper is gorgeous. I forget what countries she said that these came out of. But this is beautiful paper. Gorgeous. Totally gorgeous. Nice that vellum. And then here's another. Just to give you an idea of what's in each. Look at this. Is that like not beautiful? She really picked out beautiful pages to blend. Love this. So yeah, they don't have to always be loaded with stuff. They can have just more writing room and for you to do your own thing in them. And they're still just as special. They're beautiful. Love the paper she picked for these. So anyways, with that, um, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I appreciate all the new people who have stopped by my channel to say hello. And I will get back on schedule. I'm kind of off right now. I haven't been doing my books. I haven't been doing my live streams just because I've been just adjusting to life at the moment because we've had some changes here. So, you know, when I get my schedule back in order, hopefully, eventually, <laughs> and I will get to spend more time with you guys because I really miss the live streams where I get to talk to you and you get to ask me questions and talk back because it's a lot of fun. But I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for helping me get Patty to 1K. I am so appreciative of all the people that stepped up to the plate. Because you guys are and gals are so amazing out here in YouTube world. When you find the right people and the right friends and the right combination, it can be a really great place. So with that, I hope I will get to talk to you guys soon. And you all have a great time, whatever time zone you're in. And with that. Mwah. Love you guys.